Hello, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, and today we're going to talk about one of the most debated topics among comic book fans, Marvel versus DC. As a renowned astrophysicist and science communicator, I'm not here to talk about fictional characters, physical capabilities, or superpowers. Instead, I'm going to analyze this question from a scientific perspective and try to give you a more objective answer. Firstly, let's talk about the physical laws that govern our universe. Everything, from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest galaxies, is bound by the same laws of physics. Therefore, superheroes from both Marvel and DC operate under the same laws of physics as we do. Now let's talk about the characters themselves. Marvel and DC have created some of the most iconic superheroes in pop culture history, and each has their unique strengths and weaknesses. However, in a hypothetical battle between these two universes, there are a few characters that stand out as the most powerful. From the DC universe, we have Superman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash. From Marvel, we have the Hulk, Thor, and Doctor Strange. Each of these characters possesses exceptional abilities that could give them an edge in a fight. Superman is the most powerful character in the DC universe, with his incredible strength, speed, and durability. Wonder Woman is an expert fighter and possesses the lasso of truth, which could be a game changer in a fight. The Flash is the fastest character in the DC universe, and his speed could be a decisive factor. In the Marvel universe, the Hulk is nearly indestructible and can become stronger as he gets angrier. Thor is a god and possesses incredible strength and a powerful weapon, Mjolnir. Doctor Strange has mastery over the mystical arts and could manipulate reality to his advantage. So who would win in a battle between these two universes? It's tough to say definitively, as it would depend on the specific circumstances of the fight. However, if we were to assume a fair and neutral battle, I believe the Marvel Universe would have the edge. The reason for this is that the Marvel Universe has a more diverse range of characters with unique abilities that could counteract the DC character's strengths. For example, Doctor Strange could use his mystical powers to nullify Superman's strength or Wonder Woman's lasso of truth. In conclusion, the question of who would win in a battle between Marvel and DC is an interesting one, but ultimately it's impossible to answer definitively. However, by analyzing the characters' abilities and the laws of physics that govern them, we can make an informed scientific guess. Regardless of the outcome, one thing is for sure. The battle would be epic, and fans of both universes would be in for a treat. Of course, we cannot ignore the fact that both universes have characters who are incredibly powerful and could turn the tide of battle. For example, the DC universe has characters like Darkseid and Martian Manhunter, who are nearly omnipotent and possess powers that could rival even the strongest Marvel characters. Similarly, the Marvel Universe has characters like the Silver Surfer and the Phoenix Force, who possess incredible cosmic powers that could give them an edge in a fight. So it's important to remember that in a battle between these two universes, anything is possible. However, if we were to examine the broader themes and tones of both universes, it's clear that Marvel has a more grounded and relatable approach to their storytelling. Marvel characters are often flawed and struggle with real-world issues, making them more relatable to audiences. On the other hand, DC characters are often seen as more mythic and larger than life, with godlike abilities and an almost otherworldly quality. This difference in tone could also play a factor in a hypothetical battle between the two universes. Marvel characters may be more likely to work together and collaborate to overcome their opponents, while DC characters may rely more on their individual strength and abilities. Ultimately, the answer to who would win in a battle between Marvel and DC comes down to personal preference and subjective interpretation. Both universes have their unique strengths and weaknesses, and fans of each universe can argue endlessly about who is stronger or more powerful. However, what's important to remember is that at the end of the day, these are just fictional characters created for entertainment purposes, we should enjoy the stories and the characters without taking them too seriously. In conclusion, the debate between Marvel and DC will likely continue for years to come. Both universes have created some of the most beloved and iconic characters in pop culture history, and fans of each universe will continue to argue about who would win in a hypothetical battle. But at the end of the day, it's important to remember that these characters are meant to inspire and entertain us. So let's sit back, relax, 
and enjoy the epic battles and heroic deeds of our favorite superheroes, whether they're from Marvel, DC, or any other universe. Moving on from the Marvel versus DC debate, let's talk about another popular superhero series that has been making waves recently, Invincible. Based on the comic book series of the same name by Robert Kirkman, Invincible is a new animated series on Amazon Prime that has been receiving rave reviews from fans and critics alike. The series follows Mark Grayson, a high school student who also happens to be the son of the world's most powerful superhero, Omni-Man. When Mark begins to develop his own powers, he starts to train under his father's tutelage and soon becomes a superhero in his own right. However, as the series progresses, Mark begins to uncover dark secrets about his father and his true motives for being on Earth. The series takes a darker and more mature approach to the superhero genre, tackling themes of morality, ethics, and family dynamics. One of the things that sets Invincible apart from other superhero series is its willingness to subvert tropes and expectations. The series is not afraid to challenge the audience's assumptions about what a superhero story should be and takes risks with its characters and storylines. The animation style of Invincible is also worth mentioning, as it combines traditional 2D animation with computer-generated imagery to create a unique visual style. The action scenes are visceral and intense, with a level of gore and violence that is not often seen in animated series. Overall, Invincible is a refreshing and exciting addition to the superhero genre. It's a series that takes risks and challenges its audience, and it's clear that the creators have a deep love and respect for the source material. It's also worth noting that Invincible is just one example of the growing trend of superhero content on streaming platforms. With shows like The Boys, Umbrella Academy, and WandaVision, it's clear that audiences have an appetite for new and innovative takes on the genre. As a scientist and science communicator, I find it fascinating how the superhero genre has evolved over the years. From the brightly colored and campy comics of the 1960s to the dark and gritty films and TV shows of today, the superhero genre has always reflected the cultural and societal values of the time. In conclusion, Invincible is a must-watch series for any fans of the superhero genre. It's a bold and exciting take on the genre that challenges its audience and raises important questions about power, responsibility, and morality. With more superhero content on the horizon, it's clear that the genre is here to stay and will continue to evolve and adapt to changing times. One of the most fascinating concepts in science fiction is the idea of a multiverse, a collection of multiple parallel universes that exist alongside our own. The idea of a multiverse has been explored in countless books, movies, and TV shows. But is there any scientific evidence to suggest that a multiverse could be real? The concept of a multiverse is actually rooted in the principles of quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. According to the principles of quantum mechanics, particles exist in a state of superposition. They can be in multiple states or locations simultaneously. It's only when a measurement is taken that the particle collapses into a single state or location. This idea of multiple states or possibilities has led to the concept of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which suggests that every time a particle collapses into a single state, the universe splits into multiple parallel universes, one for each possible outcome. The many worlds interpretation is just one of several types of multiverse concepts that have been proposed by physicists and cosmologists. Another type of multiverse concept is the bubble universe theory, which suggests that our universe is just one of many bubbles in a larger multiverse. There's also the idea of a holographic multiverse, which suggests that our universe is a projection of a higher dimensional reality. And then there is the concept of an infinite or eternal multiverse, where every possible universe exists in an infinite sea of parallel realities. While these multiverse concepts may sound like pure science fiction, some physicists believe that there is some evidence to support the idea. For example, the observed value of the cosmological constant, a term in Einstein's equations of general relativity, is much smaller than what would be expected based on the properties of matter and energy in our universe. This could be explained by the idea that there are an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. However, there are also many skeptics who argue that the idea of a multiverse is nothing more than speculation and that there is no real evidence to support the concept. Some have argued that the concept of a multiverse is not testable or falsifiable and therefore cannot be considered a scientific theory. 
Despite the controversy surrounding the concept of a multiverse, it's clear that it has captured the imagination of scientists and science fiction fans alike. Whether or not a multiverse exists, the concept has inspired countless stories and ideas in popular culture and has sparked important discussions about the nature of reality and the limits of human knowledge. In conclusion, the concept of a multiverse is a fascinating and complex idea that has captured the imagination of scientists and science fiction fans alike. While there is some evidence to suggest that a multiverse could be real, there are also many skeptics who argue that the concept is nothing more than speculation. Regardless of whether or not a multiverse exists, the concept has inspired countless stories and ideas in popular culture and has sparked important discussions about the nature of reality and the limits of human knowledge. As a scientist and science communicator, I find the concept of a multiverse to be both fascinating and thought-provoking. And I look forward to seeing how the idea continues to evolve in the years to come.